Me llevó la sombrilla. Uh, it's late. Hola, buenas. Passport, sir. Sign here, please. Thank you. Well, the joint is jumping. with water, please. Hey! Where's all the action? What? People! Where does everybody go? Everybody seems to prefer Shanghai's. Shanghai's? Uh, yes, but between you and me, it's a filthy place. Uh. Here you'll find everything neat and clean. Well, I hope so. I'd hate to leave this place with any portable pets. I don't suppose we're staying long. Nobody ever does. Just long enough to put this place on the map. Cheers. That's only one. Hey, what's this? Ole.
God I'm not a bull. Amen. How about a drink with me, Elka? No. Who does she think she is? Don't forget. Isn't he monstrous? It takes all kinds. How's my credit tonight? Well, even worse than mine. You know what a sucker I am for a starving artist. I know. Let's eat outside. Marvelous idea. Hey, you. Hey. You give me something for my poor old dog instead of nosing into other people's affairs. Wow. What are you doing here? On the lamb or something? You remember my old uncle? Yes. The rich? The rich one? Well, <laughs> he finally died. Ah. <laughs> he left me a few pesetas, and in this old town, I can live like a king on it. <laughs> so I see. Why, this is paradise. That's what it is. Paradise. Cheap, sunny, full of beautiful girls. Between you and me, you can't find anything you want here. And best of all, there's nobody who knows about it. <laughs> I'll fix that. Holiday sent me here. Holiday? The magazine? Mm -hmm. But you spoil everything. Right. Come here. Who is she? Ah, she's a cheap tramp. She poses for those artists with nothing on. That's the kind. <laughs> That's the kind I like. Hey, say, you play darts. Who is the owner? That one over there. You know, baby, you'll have no problem. Waiter! Lenny! How is business? Mine's lousy, but yours seems to be pretty good. Yeah, I'm not surprised yours is lousy. A beer, please. I bet half those bums haven't got enough to pay for their own dinner. You know, what this town needs is some fat, rich tourists. The kind that drives the prices up. That won't help much unless you own something worth selling. Well, wouldn't a couple of thousand be enough to option the good beach land around here? My thousand or yours? A thousand each. All right. What's the pitch? Leave it to me. I understand there's a celebrity living here, Franz Badulescu. I'd like to take some photos of him and his work. Badulescu sees no one, especially from the press. And then I'd like to find somebody who knows a little bit about the art racket, somebody who could organize a few things for me. Valerie could handle that. You know Badulescu's wife, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm not for rent. A hundred bucks and all the Chinese food you can stand, fair enough. I'm sure Valerie would rather help us as a favor, wouldn't you? I always find it easier to pay cash. Be here tomorrow at 10.
Mira, Pilar. She's mute, poor darling. Can't say a word, but I understand her perfectly well. Di a la señora que estamos aquí, Pilar. Hello, Tania. I'm... I'm terribly sorry. About what? We just Well, I'd, I'd better explain. You see, when my editor in Paris found out I was coming down here for a holiday, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, but then he... I don't. But since you are here, you might as well come in anyway. Oh, yes. Come on. Follow me. What an act. It worked, didn't it? Beautiful place. It's enchanting. I'm sorry, Vanla, but I'm afraid that France will only be able to see one of you. That's all right. Will you please wait here? I thought good artists were supposed to starve. But Ulesco isn't all that good. Huh? He's just fashionable. Or at least he used to be a few years ago. Yes, I've heard of him. Everyone's heard of him. Tania saw to that. Uh -huh. When he married her, she was his model. And little by little, she made friends with all the people that count in art circles. She created the great Badulescu. My boss should have hired her instead of me. What a promoter. <laughs> Who's that? Momo. And I say that you will see him. Momo! He's very shy. He only goes to Tanya. Oh. No, he isn't shy. Come on, Momo, don't be bashful. Come on. Actually, he reminds me of a friend of mine. France is ready to receive you now. Two more teas, please, and um, Bandley will take hers in here. Put Momo back in the cage. Would you please follow me? Please don't stay too long. France is not too, too strong. France, dearest. Oh. This is Monsieur Marchand that I just spoke to you about. How do you do, sir? Forgive me for not rising, but as you see, I'm rather handicapped. I know. I remember reading you had a serious auto accident a couple of years ago, isn't it? Yes, he was, but he's getting much better. But it is all behind me, thanks to my dear Tanya, whose devoted care, I don't know what I would have done without her. Monsieur Marchand is here to discuss your work, dearest. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Please sit down, Monsieur Marchand. Thank you. I'd like to ask you a few questions, sir. You don't mind if I smoke, do you? No, no. There's a rumor, a rumor that was printed in the London Art Review. Oh, let me think. Way back in, in 1931, I believe it was, that in a series of animal sculptures of great realism, you experimented with the use of actual animal skeletons as armatures. Would you like some tea, Monsieur Marchand? No, thank you. You are well prepared for this interview. Well, I'm indeed flattered. Perhaps you remember from that same series a group of bronzes called Flute Song. The work consisted of a group of small goats in repose. Ah, I've often felt it was the finest thing that I have ever done in form, texture, line, the organization. The totality of the work created an air of great tranquility. Monsieur Marchand just told you that he did read the article. Oh, yes. You were saying, sir, about the goat bronzes. Oh, yes, fruit song. Well, in that case, bones for that particular group were purchased from the local abattoir. As to the others, they were bought from medical laboratories. <laughs> Things that he remembers. <laughs> I once fathered a griffin. You know, the mythological beast, half lion, half eagle. I think that 
A couple of good photographs of your work would be better than any article I could write about you. Photographs? No, no, I, I think not, I think not. I don't really see any harm in it, Franz. I'm, uh, I'm sure it won't take more than an hour or two. No, 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 no. Actually, I have my equipment right here in the car. I'm afraid we'll have to wait. We are quite prepared today. As you wish. Shall I call you tomorrow? Please do. Fine. It has been an honor, sir. I'll be with you in a moment. Take it. <laughs> what a woman. She is marvelous. I don't know. I sense something weird between those two. Oh? I didn't know that sensitivity was one of your strong points. That's right, my sweet. Don't touch that. Sorry. It's extremely fragile. Aren't these hands copied from that drawing? Not copied. We call it transposing from one medium to another. France has added a third dimension to paintings of great masters. I see. Uh, for instance, this is an early Delacroix. Very early. Is this what he's working on now? France does not like to expose his work before it is completed. Oh. You'll be in touch, Monsieur Marchand? Tomorrow. If we are ready. We'll see you tonight? Yes. Good night, darling. sombrillas en la playa. Majo no ha desaparecido. Majo ha muerto. Majo muerto. Y yo, la reina de los gitanos, digo que Majo ha muerto. I must say I question the wisdom of receiving this man, Tanya. You question my wisdom? Where would you be if it weren't for me? I who created and molded the image of Bodilesco and his devoted and adoring wife. Devoted? Huh. Till death to us part, I suppose. Hmm. I thought that kind of thing went out of style. What kind of thing? Painting people the way they actually look. I only do it for practice occasionally. Ah. Unless one has mastered the concrete, it's pointless to attempt the abstract. <laughs> you painters talk too much. For three hours I've been trying to find something interesting enough to attract people to that artist's colony. And all you characters do is chatter and get drunk. And work. Huh. Why don't you give a party? Everybody's very interesting at a party. That's the most intelligent thing you've said. It's the only thing I said. Sit still, Elga. Well, give a costume party, that's what. But why would anybody bother to make up a costume? Why do canaries sing? Because we feed them. 
I'll come for nothing. <laughs> He'll probably want you to come in that costume. How about this for a theme? Foreign artists pay tribute to their Spanish master, Goya, in their annual spring frolic. I think it sounds just terrible. Right. I have a better idea. We'll call it our weekend back and hell. Hmm? Make it seem like an orgy. That sounds even worse. Can you get everything ready for tomorrow? Tomorrow? Impossible. Tomorrow's too soon. All right, we'll make it the end of the week. Oh, wait a moment. Hey, I just remembered. I know somebody who used to be an actor. That's it. He has trunks full of old costumes and things like that. Fine. You'll be in charge of the costumes, Elga. I'll fix everything up with Shanghai. In the meantime, we'll be working on our photo layout.
Get out, I said. Get out! 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 Get out of my room! Get out! Get out! Get out, I said! Get out! Get out! Me bloody Mary, will you, darling? Hair of the hound, hmm? God, what a night I had. <laughs> I had a few too many. Where were you last night? I was expecting you. Uh, Claude and I drove up to Calvario to get some night shots, and. But kind of late. Uh, you know. Yes. Yes, I do know. So, how do you like working for Monsieur Marchand? I mean, Claude, of course. Not too bad. Is Pilar around? In the kitchen, I suppose. Where else would she be? Come on, give me that drink, darling. <laughs> You'll be late for work, you know. Honey, would you come down? Here. Yeah. Like this. This way. Will you please relax? Darling, tell her all I'm trying to do is to take a picture. Tell her yourself. Okay, let's try again. A little bit left, closer to the cactus. Aren't you overdoing the local color bit? Not at all. Are you nobody, too? That makes a pair of us. Two gentlemen on the beach. commercial at least and since most of them owe me money they have to come in whatever costume I tell them that's what I figured tell me how is our land speculation coming along by tomorrow we'll control every square foot of property worth having we'll be rich in no time Passe, Domingo I was wondering when you'd show up hoy es el funeral de Majo y todos los gitanos estamos de luto Mao dead. What happened to her? When? 
El diablo vino y se lo llevó. Majo salió de su casa y nunca más regresó. Who is Majo? A little hunchback gypsy who rented umbrellas on the beach. But how did he die, Domingo? He looked all right yesterday. El diablo se lo llevó y no regresará nunca más. Did you bury him already? No, no tenemos el cuerpo para enterrarlo. Venga a ver la procesión. Maybe he's not really dead, Domingo. He might have got drunk and just went away someplace. La reina dice que el diablo se llevó a Majo. Los gitanos sabemos cuándo viene el diablo. <laughs> It would be a funny thing if the corpse turns up tomorrow with a hangover. It doesn't seem too likely. These people have an uncanny instinct about death. Maybe somebody murdered him. Murder Mao. He was only a poor beach boy without a penny or an enemy in this world. Dead or alive, he was of no use to anyone. In any case, who would even miss him? His mother. Dawn yet? Not yet. I'm tired. We have a deadline, darling. I'm working well, am I not? Mm. You're working better than before the accident. Accident? There was no accident. You tried to kill me. Oh, Franz, please. You tried to kill me. All you succeeded in doing is crippling my leg and blinding me. Don't think I don't know it. You believe whatever you want to believe. You blinded me. And then? Only then I became famous. Ha! And now, now I suppose, like Beethoven, I'm doomed never to perceive the beauty of my own creations. Ha! I'm afraid that's the truth. Ah. But you have to take care of me. I am not your prisoner. You are mine. Did you examine the animal? The one that was struck by a car? Ah, yes, poor beast. The shape is all right, but two or three centimeters bigger than the original. Well, we don't have any time to, to find another. Time we do not have, let's face it. <laughs> We're a month overdue. If we do not deliver the work within a week's time, the commission is cancelled. I know, I know.
Bravo, bravo. Ah, at last it is finished, Tanya. I've left nothing out. <laughs> no, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Compared to that, the dog will be child's play. The two women will take much more time at work. I will undertake a friend <laughs> informs us that it will not be difficult to obtain the final subjects. There seems to have been a sort of epidemic <laughs> in a town nearby. Huh. Remind him to be prudent, Tanya. They don't care for grave robbers in this part of the world. <laughs> don't worry, darling. Um. Which uh, figure would you like to begin with? The seated figure is the more difficult of the two. I'll save her till last. Oh, good, good. I'm having a little trouble with her. What? Nothing, nothing, darling. Well, I'll start on the kneeling figure, but the, the subject must conform exactly. Yes, preparations already begun. Baby. Hey, where are you going? Oh, go on. Hello. <laughs> looking very lovely today. Why don't you put on a bathing suit and join me? You have enough company with all those young men. <laughs> Sometimes I get bored with young men, don't you? Maybe we all do sooner or later. <laughs> but then what else is there to do to pass the time? Well, you have your music and your work and a marvelous house. Valerie told me all about it. Why don't you come by yourself one night? Oh, I'd love to. Now, there's a man who's not boring. Oh, Monsieur Marchand. Huh? Would you please tell that gentleman, that is when you see him later, that um, he may come to my house tomorrow and take his photographs. One more shot of Patrice's house and then we'll head for home. Yeah, just let me know when we've arrived.
windows open. Why don't you sleep here tonight if the sea gets too rough? Mm -mm, I can't. Oh, I nearly forgot. Tanya said you could come and take your pictures tomorrow. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Where does she live? In a little house on the beach. And all alone, too. You know Elga's afraid of nothing. I wonder why there was so much smoke coming out of Badulescu's chimney. Maybe he's cold-blooded. Probably baking one of his statues. No. It takes a special kiln for that. Yeah? And you don't bake them. You make a mold and cast them. Explain to me everything. After all, I'm supposed to be an art critic. All right. You take an armature like this. An amateur? Armature. Armature, you have an accent. Then cover it with plaster or clay. Yes. Then from there you make a mold and simply pour liquid bronze into it. Like a cookie cutter. <laughs> More like children's mm. lead soldiers. And then you destroy the mold and the original so that nobody can make any copies. Right? Trust you to grasp the business angle of it. Sometimes you misjudge me. As far as beach property around here goes, I'm the one piece you haven't got an option on. But if you behave, I'll make dinner for you. I give you my word of honor. But everybody knows my word is that much good.
What's happened? You're shivering. A man after me. He was chasing me out there. Man. No. There's nobody there now. I'm here to ask you to come and have dinner with me at my house tonight. Are you sure it's all right with you, Tanya? I mean... Of course. I would love for you to come to my house. Tanya. Come on. We'll do you good. You're wonderful. My car is outside. something again, Tanya. In a little while. I have to look after Franz first. You might have to spend the night here, you know. Oh! <laughs> you don't seem to be displeased with the idea. Mm -mm. One or two? <laughs> two. Tanya, we won't be disturbing your husband, will we? My husband doesn't even know that you are here. And, um, I am delighted. I will even lend you one of my nightgowns.
No, 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 Tanya. I, I don't want an ejection tonight, no. The storm will keep you awake otherwise. No, I don't want to. You will do exactly as I tell you. Oh, I'm an important artist and you treat me as though I were a child. That reporter from the magazine came to write about me, not about you. Oh. Mm, wish we could go away from here. Any, anywhere just away from here. There's no money. Never have any money. We're going to have a lot of money. Mr. Armstrong is paying a lot of money for this commission. And we can go away wherever you want to on a long, long trip. Oh, you always say that, but you never mean it. You have all the money hidden away somewhere. You never spend a penny of it except upon yourself. The same with my work, my sculpture, my children. Though the world is waiting to... Look at, pay for, all hidden away, your secret hoard. Would you like me to get you something? Are you hungry? No, you try to poison me. Uh, really, Franz, you're such a fool. Then why do you stay with me? Well, we are chained together, aren't we, Franz? Who is your guest, Tony? Guest? Don't have a guest. I'm working in the laboratory. Oh, I wish all these present work were finished. Finished. We could have people around us again. Ah! <laughs> 
Much? Happy? Yes. I'm glad. Could I have one without the glasses, sir? Uh, no, I'm afraid that France is growing tired. And besides, you have already dozens of pictures for dozens of articles. Well, you're the doctor. But I'm sorry to say that it will not mean much if I don't have at least a few shots of the work you are doing now, sir. You must realize the work in which I'm engaged is is a commission group and cannot be seen by anyone until it is delivered to the owner. Please. Well, it's much Please. better than working on speculation, isn't it? Excuse me. But uh, I really got upset. Well, it's this way, please. Excuse me, take this. I'll give it back to her. Oh, by the way, I'm giving a costume party at Shanghai's tonight. You must come and break something of mine. Don't tempt me. I would love to come. And uh, don't be concerned with the mishap. It's, uh, it's of no importance. Bye. Bye. Take care, Valerie. That was no armature. Come on, Bobby. Hey! 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 Hey
wonderful <laughs> world. She looks like a lunatic tonight, Miss. Very go, I'm afraid. No, but it's commercial. Where's your drink, Marshan? No, I never drink when I wear it. What? What yes. are you talking about? Soon we're going to own the town, aren't we? Oh, tell me. You've been here for some time, haven't you? Yes, about as long as anybody else. Well, then you must have been in touch with Badulescu at one time or another. Sure, he used to eat here once in a while. Mm. Not since all of these people have started to drift in. Well, today I was at his place, and I broke one of his statues. And since then, I've been wondering... Can I get you something to drink, madam? Good evening. Is this whip for me? Only if you insist. If you promise me not to lead, I'll invite you to dance. I never lead with a man who knows how to lead. You look fabulous. Claude. I don't understand what's become of Elga. She's not here. How can you tell? I know she's not here. Excuse me. Joe, um, can I have a little more of that ice? We know where Elga is, don't we? Don't we? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, no. You thought nobody saw you. Elga was with you, wasn't she, last night? But I saw you. I know what the three of you do up there. What time did she leave your house last night? Why are you so interested? I'm worried about her. I, I haven't seen her all day. M maybe... Maybe she was caught in the storm coming back from your house last night. I think she can take care of herself. Yeah. Oh, 
passed out again, huh? Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's a boy. <laughs> You Shanghai? Should be all right there. Come on. I don't like this. Besides, it's becoming too dangerous for us. She's getting involved with that Marchand, and he's asking too many questions. Yes, I know, but we have no choice. Besides, she happens to fit our needs. Don't be sentimental, darling. Just think of the fortune we're going to make. I'm getting tired. You, you think about it. I need some money now, you know. I have to pay this car off. I'm all prepared for that. Me, darling. Me.
Sí, sí. Llama a ese señor. La reina dice que quiere hablar. Venga, conmigo. Venga, deprisa, venga. Here she goes. What an act. Yeah, she'd look great on my show. Let's do this right. El ciego ha matado a tres personas. The blind man has killed three people. Majo, el borracho, y el ángel con el pelo rubio. Majo, the drunk, and the girl with pale hair. Olga. Who's going to be the next victim? ¿Quién será la próxima? Alguien que está muy cerca de él. Someone very close to you. ¿Y cuándo será? Esta noche matará a otra persona. Exactamente a las tres. At exactly three o'clock. That's Valerie's.
answer to it. What's the matter? Don't you think we've killed enough people for your husband's statues? Oh. <laughs> it's just another elegant. Thought she were enjoying it. Are you jealous? Me, huh? Well, I don't know how I'll kill you. Murdered? Yes, like you did the others. others? What? <laughs> doing here? Get back to your room. You've been lying to me. Marshall's told me everything. Not grave robbing, but murder. So what are you going to do about it? Do about it? I'm going to kill you. Just try, darling. But just remember that you're blind. I, I can see. Better in the dark than in the light. Here I am. 
them, darling. Ha, ha, ha. 